Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Kaur and I hope that you all guys are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the best notes app out there. And I'm saying it after using this app for almost a month now. So we have so many notes app on the App Store, Play Store, whatever phone you use. And we also have inbuilt notes app on our phones iphone has this notes app which is great but i don't know why i'm not able to work on it when it comes to creating notes which require a bit of brainstorming so i had to find something which helps me stay focused and so i can work on it and that's how i found bear so let's get into it so just like any notes app it can perform all its obvious features with ease we are going to cover the basics first. If you want to jump to the more complex features of this app, you can check the timestamps in the description box below. This was heading 1 and we changed it to heading 2. And now this is heading 3. If we want that this node doesn't have any heading, then we can tap the no header option. And now we are going to type out a new piece of text and see what other things that we can do with it. So we have various formatting options here. We can make our text bold, make it italic, underline it, or we can also strike through it. Now, if we tap these options again, then these effects will be removed and the text will be back to the normal. Also, you can add a picture from your photo library and make it a part of your notes, just like this. And if you're going to be a little bit more spontaneous, then you can use the camera option and the picture will be added just like this one in your notes. Bear app also has this feature of adding line breaks and you can add as many breaks as you want. And this is pretty convenient because when you are creating different sections in just one single note, it's just very easy to understand for your mind that this is where the section is ending and a new one is beginning. Besides these, there is one feature that I really love about the Bear app Double tap on a text to select it and then tap on the link icon and after that you will be prompted to put our page link. Now let's copy this link from our Safari browser and then paste it in the link section. Now it works so smoothly that it blew my mind. Now that it's saved, once I tap on this piece of text. It will smoothly open that web page in the browser and I really love that it works so nicely and it's so convenient. Also we all know that the notes app are needed for creating different kind of lists so we can create a bulleted list in this app, a numbered list and a checklist just in case you want to create your to-do list in this app. Not just that, if you want to create notes regarding the subject that you are studying and you need to code a portion, then you can easily do that by tapping on the code option. And now, whenever you will be reading your notes, it will be easy for you to recognize that you have coded a specific someone here. And there are certain features of this app which makes navigating around the notes that you made very very easy. For example, you are seeing the arrows on your screen right now, don't confuse them with these set of arrows. These arrows move the cursor upward and downward and the other two on the right hand side move them rightwards or in the left direction. And this makes it easy for us to edit the notes just in case we want to. And now moving on to the set of arrows that we saw earlier. These arrows help you move a certain sentence or a certain paragraph in the upwards or downwards direction. So you don't have to just copy and paste. You can just move the whole sentence upwards and downwards. And you can also move it rightwards and leftwards. Whenever you are making notes on paper, there are times when you want to highlight the important sentences and words. And the Bear app hasn't forgotten this feature. You can also undo any changes that you made by mistake to your notes and also redo them back to the way that they were just in case you undid them by mistake. And you can also insert date with time in your notes because sometimes it's important to know at what time or on what date that this note was written. For example, it could be just a daily journal entry for someone. And you can also add any sort of file in your notes. For example, this is a zip file that I just added and I can just have access to it from my notes app. Now let's move back to the notes list and see what are the things that we can do there. 
so we can swipe a little bit to the left on any of the node and pin it to the top. Now there are nodes which are more important for us than the others and we want to have quick access to them as soon as we open our app. In that case, we can pin our important nodes to the top and as soon as we open the app, we can just tap on them and we don't have to go through the list to find them. Besides that, we can also export our nodes in different formats. For that, we have to have access to the export node option and there we have different format options. Text, PDF, HTML, there are many. You can just select any of them, whichever suits you and you can export your node in that format. Besides that, we can also copy the link to our node and send it to someone. Once we share the link to that node, the person that you send it to can just tap on the link and have access to everything that you have written in that node. For example, I am sharing this node as a link with someone and now if I tap on it, it will just directly open it in the Bear app and if you don't have it, then it will just open up in the browser. And now jumping onto one of the coolest features of this app, which is hashtag. So whenever you're typing out a note, you just have to type out a hashtag at the end of it, which kind of symbolizes what this note is about. For example, this is my Reels Ideas note and I have typed out hashtags such as Reels, Shots, Instagram, and so on. So whenever I tap on the Reels hashtag, whatever notes have that hashtag will reflect here. And this makes sorting out the notes super easy. Now let me give this node a hashtag. Let's give it a Reels hashtag. So now when I tap on the Reels hashtag, this node is also going to be a part of it. And also, that's not it. You can also give a cute icon to your hashtags. For example, to my Reels hashtag, I can choose just any icon from all the icons that are available. Let's go with this one. Mm, or maybe this one yeah this one is cool and now the icon is changed i can do that to my other hashtags as well and this doesn't just look aesthetically pleasing but also it's easier to recognize the symbols sometimes and now let's move back to our notes screen and see what are the other things that we can do in it. So we can insert a drawing just in case we want to which i am terrible at so i did it off screen and this is how it will look like if we draw and insert it in our notes. If you want to remove it, you just have to tap on backspace and it will be deleted. That's it. And besides that, we have options for people who are coders. Now, this is something which is just aesthetically pleasing for me. I can change the font, maybe make it look different, but I understand there are people out there who are good at coding and this is something which can be really, really useful for them. So we have this little box here for them just in case they want to use it. I don't know how they're going to use it, but yeah, I am pretty sure that this has to be something for people who do coding. Till now, whatever features that we talked about in this video were all free. But Bear also provides a premium membership, which is called Bear Pro. And these are all the features that come with the premium plan. If you want to read it out, just pause the video, take a minute and just see what are the features you will be getting if you sign up for a premium version. But I'm just gonna go back to our notes app and show you what are the features that you are gonna get. The first most important feature that you get if you sign up for the premium membership of Pair is that you can add password to your individual notes so that no one can have access to it except you. You can add a password which can also be linked to your face ID so whenever you try to open that node, you can either enter that password that you set or you can unlock the node with your face ID. Also, whatever password that you set is applied to every node that you try to keep password protected. You don't have to give every node a different password. Besides that, you also get different theme options for the Bear app. There are many to be honest, but the one that I'm using right now is my top favorite. I like the red and the white color, but as you can see, there are many themes to choose from, so you can personalize it according to what is easy on your eyes. And I think that is really great because colors play an important role when it comes to creating notes digitally on screen of your phone or your iPad or your laptop. If the 
Colors are not easy on your eyes. You don't like to work on that particular app for a longer period of time, which is not good. You can also change the icon of your app according to the theme of your app, which is quite amazing. And if you pull the screen a little bit down, you can see the total number of nodes that you have created in the app. And you can also find the search bar there. You can search for any node that you are looking for. But here's a trick. If you type out at the rate icon and besides that, if you type to do, you can find every to do list you have created in this notes app in different notes. And now let's try it with um, images. So if you type out at the rate images, you'll find every note that has images in it. Isn't this one of the coolest trick to find things in your notes app? And before we end this video, here is a little something which I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video when we were talking about the free features of this notes app. Whenever you tap on any note and you tap on the info icon on the top right hand side corner, you will be able to see the modification date of that note and you will be able to see the number of words, the number of characters, reading time, the number of paragraphs that are created in that note and also what was the last editing device of that particular node, the creation date and you can also export your node from there and you don't need to go anywhere else. So guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments section below, are you going to try this app out or not? And if yes, which feature was your favorite? I'll see you in my next video. Bye.